Hi everyone, Ferris Technology here. What I have here is the BlackBerry Curve 9360 and I'm going to be doing a full review on this phone right now. Stay tuned. So the first thing that you'll notice about this phone is just how thin and light this phone is. This phone is only 11 millimeters thick and it only weighs 99 grams. So I'm just gonna do a full walkthrough on what the actual phone looks like. Um, so we have the nice keyboard here. Um, we've got the trackpad, the uh, send and end buttons, um, the BlackBerry button and the back button. Um, the trackpad now does light up around um, with a nice little lighting. So if you're in, your, in the dark anywhere, um, it does light up quite nicely. We'll just go to the side right here. So we've got the USB jack um, on the bottom. Um, it's just got your speaker so you can receive a um, voice call. On the side we've got the camera button um, and then we've got a little latch right here which will take off the back cover which we'll do in a second. On the top we've got a lock button and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So there you have it. Um, we'll go to the back actually. So the back uses a 5 megapixel camera. Um, the camera does not use autofocus um, and it does take video of um, just VGA video so it's not HD video. Um, the Curve finally does have a flash which is a nice improvement over all the previous generation Curve phones which never had a flash so it's nice to have that. We'll take the battery door off right here. Um, it does have that little latch like I mentioned. It's not like those ones that you slide off like the previous generation Blackberries. So we just take that little flap off like that um, and there we have a EM1 battery. We've got the SIM card and we've got the um, memory card. So I've got an eight gigabyte memory card um, in my phone. Most of them come with a two gigabyte memory card, but I've thrown in an eight gigabyte one in there. BlackBerry has not cheaped out on the screen. We've got a really nice 480 by 360 resolution screen on here. Um, also on the bottom, it does utilize a speaker just right there. Um, the speaker is very, very loud. Um, I've just put my phone down and turned on some music, and uh, the volume is super, super loud, so I've noticed a nice improvement over the speaker quality on this phone. Um, this one does utilize 512 megabytes of built-in um, memory, so that's nice to have as well. Um, I'm just going to zoom out here and we're going to do a little bit of a physical comparison to my iPhone 4S just so you guys can get an idea of the size of this phone. Um, so there we go. So you can see the 4S is quite a bit longer um, in thickness. Um, it looks like the 4S is slightly thinner, but uh, I mean for a BlackBerry, having a BlackBerry this thin is quite amazing. We'll go to the back of it as well. Um, there you have it. So we'll put the iPhone aside. This brand new Curve from RIM does utilize an 800 megahertz processor, which is a huge improvement over the 624 megahertz processor on the previous generation Curve. Um, the Curve does use also now OS 7, so um, the previous generation Curves used the OS 5 and OS 6, but this one does now use the OS 7, so you can definitely see the icons are quite a bit more colorful, a little bit more detail on the icons, which is nice to have. Um, RIM has also got rid of um, the um, scrolling through so before you are able to scroll through side to side um, you can still do that on OS 7 but uh, now you have the option to remove that so as you can see when I scroll side to side there's no um, like downloads or music or any of those other options it's strictly just my all which is what I like to have I like to keep it simple I don't like having all those side scrolling things that did kind of annoy me a little bit so this phone was definitely made to be your uh, social networking device and it does have full integration of Facebook and Twitter. Um, a really nice thing I do like about this device when I'm using it is it does have this uh, messaging icon. Um, the messaging icon you can actually fully use uh, for Facebook, Twitter, text messages, BlackBerry Messenger. So you can have everything all in that one icon. So I really like having this one main icon here. So I can always go into it and have everything there. I don't have to keep opening up Facebook or Twitter or any of those apps. I all have that everything right in my messaging icon, which is really handy to have. It makes everything really quick and easy. I'm just going to head over to the browser right now. I'm going to open that up and just give you a quick demo on how that is. Um, so 
if you're a user like myself who went from a bold 9900 to the Curve 9360, um, you're always kind of looking to go pinch to zoom or any of that. Um, but uh, it's definitely not a touchscreen uh, phone, so it's just going to use the regular uh, non-touchscreen. Um, I'm just going to quickly bring up CNN.com, popular site that I do go on to. As you can see, it brings up the mobile version. Um, and the browser is not too bad. I mean, it's the OS 7 browser. Um, I find it a little bit difficult to use without the touchscreen, but um, for a non-touchscreen device, um, it's definitely one of the best browsers out there. So um, if this is your first BlackBerry, you're not going to be disappointed. This is definitely an awesome browser to have. The integration with social networking um, is great. Uh, I'll quickly go over to the app world and just open that up. So we've got BlackBerry App World now the new 3.0 one. So there we have it. Um, we've got games, apps, um, payment options. It's got the nice search function in there, as well as it does utilize um, all types of different recommended apps right here, which scrolls nicely through. It's kind of like the um, QNX um, type um, system, so it looks pretty nice. So we'll, we look forward to that QNX system on the next generation Blackberries. For all those uh, BlackBerry users who have not used uh, BBM Music, definitely check it out. You can connect it all up with uh, your other BBM users. Um, it's got all tips, different types of music that you can download and uh, share with your friends. So uh, definitely really cool, so check that out. I definitely use that a lot on my Curve 9360. So there we have it. Overall, this is definitely a really, really great price BlackBerry. Um, it's fully packed with a lot of features in it. Um, this is uh, aimed towards the first time BlackBerry user or um, someone who just wants a, a cheaper price BlackBerry user. Um, don't be don't be fooled though because of the pricing and because this is a lower model BlackBerry. Um, I use a lot, a lot of different phones. I have the Bold 9900. Um, I'll be picking up the 9790. Um, but uh, right now I'm using the Curve 9360. I have access to all these other devices, but I just really love the Curve 9360. I just really like the thin form factor on it. A really light phone, um, and it does everything that I need it to do. Um, BBM obviously being one of the most popular th things that I do use on it, but uh, definitely a great phone. So there you have it. That's your Curve 9360 review. Um, I'd love to hear any questions or comments, so p please post up below and I'll do my best to answer as many of them as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you guys on my next review. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.